What if we could change our DNA? What if diseases disappeared forever? What if aging became just an option rather than an inevitability? It sounds like science fiction, but it is already becoming a reality. We are on the brink of a new era where humans can rewrite themselves. CRISPR technology has the potential to change everything from curing diseases to creating a new type of human. But are we ready for this? This is the story of CRISPR tool that could make us like gods. But where will it lead? Utopia or chaos? The history of CRISPR began long before humans learned to read and write. Nature developed this mechanism billions of years ago. In the 1980s, Spanish scientist Francisco Mojica discovered strange repeating sequences in bacterial DNA. He realized that they were part of an ancient immune system bacteria recorded information about viruses to protect themselves from future attacks. But it wasn't until the 2000s that scientists realized this mechanism could be used to edit genes. In 2012, American biochemist Jennifer Doudna and French microbiologist Emmanuel Charpentier demonstrated that CRISPR could be programmed to modify the DNA of any organism. CRISPR acts like genetic scissors. Imagine DNA as a book with billions of letters. Sometimes, errors appear in the text. CRISPR allows scientists to find these errors and correct them, just like an editor fixing a document. Genetic diseases have plagued humanity for centuries. Some, like sickle cell anemia, shorten lives and cause immense suffering. Others, like Huntington's disease, are a death sentence written into a person's DNA from birth. Until recently, these conditions were considered unchangeable. But what if we could rewrite our genetic code? Every year, over 300 million people worldwide suffer from rare genetic disorders. Some of these diseases are inherited through a single mutation in a person's DNA, like cystic fibrosis, which causes severe lung damage and shortens life expectancy. Others, like muscular dystrophy, weaken muscles until the body can no longer function. For decades, scientists could only treat the symptoms. But CRISPR opens up the possibility of going straight to the source, the faulty genes themselves. Instead of managing diseases, we can now correct them at the DNA level. One of the biggest breakthroughs happened in 2023 when researchers successfully used CRISPR to cure sickle cell anemia. This disease, which affects over 20 million people, primarily in Africa and parts of India, is caused by a single mutation in the gene responsible for hemoglobin. Patients with sickle cell anemia suffer from chronic pain, strokes, organ failure, and early death due to the shape of their red blood cells, which clog blood vessels. Traditional treatments, like bone marrow transplants, are risky and limited to a small number of patients. With CRISPR, doctors removed stem cells from a patient's bone marrow, edited the faulty gene, and then reinfused the corrected cells. The results were astonishing. Patients who had suffered from lifelong pain suddenly became symptom free. Scientists believe this could be a permanent cure. The success of CRISPR in treating sickle cell anemia is just the beginning. Researchers are already working on CRISPR-based treatments for Huntington's disease, a fatal neurological disorder with no cure, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which weakens muscles until the body can no longer function, inherited blindness, where faulty genes prevent the eyes from processing light. One of the most ambitious goals is using CRISPR to eliminate cancer. Some cancers are caused by genetic mutations that allow cells to grow uncontrollably. Scientists are experimenting with CRISPR-edited immune cells that could hunt down and destroy tumors without harming healthy tissue. There is even research into using CRISPR to slow down aging. Some scientists believe that tweaking certain genes could extend human lifespan significantly. But with these incredible possibilities come serious ethical questions. If we can edit DNA, should we limit ourselves to treating diseases? Or will we be tempted to enhance our genes, making ourselves stronger, smarter, and more resistant to aging? Hunger has always been one of humanity's greatest challenges. Today, over 800 million people do not have enough food. Climate change, soil depletion, and plant diseases 
make farming increasingly difficult. But CRISPR could revolutionize agriculture and help feed the world. Super crops for a changing world. Scientists are using CRISPR to create crops that resist drought, ensuring food production even in extreme heat, fight off pests and diseases, reducing the need for chemical pesticides, grow faster and produce more food, feeding more people with fewer resources. One of the first CRISPR-edited crops was a type of wheat with higher fiber content, which could help prevent diabetes and heart disease. Another breakthrough was CRISPR-edited tomatoes that produce higher levels of vitamin D, helping to fight deficiencies in countries where sunlight is scarce. Researchers are working on CRISPR-modified rice that can grow in salt water, making previously unusable land fertile again. Other projects aim to create bananas resistant to deadly fungal infections, which could save a crop that feeds over 400 million people worldwide. CRISPR could even change the way we eat meat. Scientists are using gene editing to make cows and pigs resistant to deadly viruses, which could reduce the need for antibiotics and prevent outbreaks that devastate livestock. But as with human gene editing, CRISPR in food raises ethical concerns. Should we be altering nature at such a deep level? And how will these modifications affect ecosystems in the long run? Despite these questions, one thing is certain. CRISPR has the power to transform medicine and agriculture in ways we are only beginning to understand. The future of genetic engineering is here and it is moving faster than we ever imagined. But could this lead to a dangerous future? If we can edit DNA, what stops people from creating perfect children? Where is the line between treatment and enhancement? Should parents have the right to decide what their child will look like? If the wealthy can afford genetic improvements while the poor cannot, won't this create a new form of inequality? In 2018, the world was shocked by an announcement from He Jianque, a Chinese scientist who claimed to have created the first genetically modified human beings. His experiment was not just a theoretical breakthrough, it was real, and the results were living, breathing children. He Jiankwe used CRISPR-Cas9 technology to edit the DNA of two embryos, modifying a gene called CCR5. This gene plays a key role in allowing the HIV virus to enter human cells. By disabling it, He Jiankwe hoped to make the children naturally resistant to HIV. These genetically modified embryos were implanted into a mother, and in November of 2018, twin girls, Lulu and Nana, were born. They were the first humans in history to be deliberately genetically altered before birth. Instead of being celebrated as a revolutionary scientist, He Jiankwe faced international outrage. Scientists and ethicists condemned his actions as reckless, dangerous, and unethical. The experiment had major ethical and scientific problems. Unknown risks. CRISPR is still an experimental technology. Editing genes in an embryo could cause unintended side effects that might appear later in life. Lack of medical necessity. The twins' parents were HIV positive, but there are already safe methods to prevent HIV transmission from parent to child. Many experts argue that the experiment was unnecessary. Consent issues. The twins could not consent to having their DNA permanently altered. No one knows how this change will affect them or their future children. As a result, in 2019, He Jiankui was sentenced to three years in prison and banned from conducting further research. China also introduced stricter laws on human gene editing to prevent similar experiments in the future. Despite the backlash, some details about the experiment remain unknown. For example, there are rumors that a third genetically modified baby was born shortly after Lulu and Nana. Some scientists suspect that He Jiankui's experiment did more than just prevent HIV, it may have also unintentionally affected other traits, such as intelligence and brain function. In animal studies, disabling the CCR5 gene has been linked to increased memory and cognitive ability. Did He Jiankui unintentionally create enhanced humans? While He Jiankui's experiment was widely condemned, it also proved something important. 
human genetic modification is no longer science fiction, it is reality. Since then, other scientists have explored more ethical ways to use CRISPR on humans. In 2020, researchers in the United States used CRISPR to treat blindness in adults by editing genes in the eye. Unlike Hijianqui's experiment, this did not involve editing embryos and was seen as a safer and more acceptable use of the technology. Now, the world faces a crucial question. Where do we draw the line? If we can cure diseases through gene editing, should we also allow enhancements? Will future parents be able to design their children, choosing traits like intelligence, height, or even personality? What happened in 2018 was just the beginning. The debate over genetically modified humans is far from over. The future could unfold in many ways. In one scenario, humanity defeats diseases, aging, and achieves extreme longevity. In another, a new class of superhumans is created, leaving ordinary people behind. CRISPR offers incredible possibilities, but are we ready for them? This is a power that can change everything. We stand at a crossroads. Will we create paradise or chaos? Are we prepared for what's coming?